I don't think people can actually understand that a person with a disability such as being blind can actually do something like skateboarding. You often get asked if this is for some sort of stunt. These days, my focal range is around the size of a five cent piece. And on top of that, I've also got uh, visual snow, so what looks like bad TV static. People will often ask me, like, how do you actually do that? Blind skating is basically, it's all feel. So this is actually really good because there's a little crack here, so that's the marker. Then I'll check the height, usually by hand. Just, just touch it, just give it a good feel, see where it's at. And then with my back to the obstacle, I generally will run the cane in this hand because it helps me feel the approach. And hopefully try and get it first go. <laughs> I've had to relearn how to walk with the cane, so adapting that into skateboarding has been incredibly difficult. I will put so much into trying to land a particular trick that I will spend hours, and it's just torturous. I got diagnosed with a condition called retinitis pigmentosa, which is a spectrum of uh, retinal disease. You're in a constant a uh, losing battle. So you're basically, you're battling something every day that you can see a life that you used to have essentially slipping away. At this stage, it's looking like I could lose my sight completely over the, the course of the next few years, yeah. So if I'm sitting in one of my sort of depressional states where I'm, you know, feeling quite low, that drive to get out can be very, very minimal. This is where something like skateboarding can actually be a really good form of therapy because you're physically getting out and doing something that can also be rewarding. Oh, it's worth it when you battle out for so long, but you land it. So this is wiretap. Wiretap is basically looking at addressing some of the issues that often get overlooked within the fashion industry around accessibility. This is one of the shirts I designed from the ground up. I got really sick of losing my hat at the park, so I came up with this system of connecting the shirt and the hat together with the integrated D-Links. Having a brand that adaptive skateboarders can call their own is really important. Life after diagnosis and rapid vision loss has led to a complete change in my perception of what's actually possible. I've gone from having skateboarding as a hobby to being an industry recognised skater. I've gone from having an interest in clothing to running my own clothing brand and I never expected something so debilitating such as vision loss would actually open up so many doors.